Hello YouTube, Daniel here. Uh, just, uh, I'm making my birthday dinner late. Yep, lasagna. And that's the size of the pan I'm making. Alright, I did a bunch of stuff already. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not much for filming <laughs> this stuff when I'm doing it. Alright, in any case, there's two pounds of beef. And one pound of pork in there, uh, sautéed, one sweet onion, and uh, half of a big pack of mushrooms. And she's sick. <laughs> I like my salsa thick. But I still got a little bit more here to add. Uh, here's my cheat. Yep. That is my old chunky salsa. Adds me a bunch of uh, the ingredients I want to add. I'm not going to use it all. I'll save that for something else. Nice mild salsa. Oh, look at the body that is. Has now. Still nice and thick. Got some nice chunky tomatoes in there. That's it's looking good. Nicely cooked. And the spoon stands. Go figure. That is cool though. I'm um, liking that. Alright, for the spices, you know yourself. I love my McCormick's Clubhouse. We got pork seasoning. We put some maple bacon in there. You see that? Maple bacon. I love this shit. No MSG. Still got a shitload of ingredients in it though. Now if you want to pause that, take a look. It certainly isn't vegan friendly. We got seasoning salt and we got celery salt. All that good stuff. Alright. We're nearly there. I think we're pretty much ready to uh, start assembling this sucker. Alright, give me a minute. I'm going to come back and we'll get her together. Alright, I'll YouTube back. This is going to be a, a little difficult. I'm just going to show you a bit of what I'm doing. Yeah. This stuff's so thick, there's no juice to it. But that's okay. Actually, I'm going to take that pan out from underneath there. It's too small for this, anyways. We'll get this loaded up, and then we'll put that into the. Alright, so you sauce up the bottom. You want a nice little bit of wetness on the bottom there. Alright, some of the other stuff we're putting in here. Big mountain of cheese. I like a cheesy lasagna. And we got some ricotta there too. Alright, we're just going to start assembling this for a minute. And I'm probably going to pause it so I can do this all with two hands. Alright, let's see. some of these up I think yeah Beautiful. 
So there's our bottom layer. Now we get our uh, meat sauce going. Get a nice layer of this going. Yep. We got mushrooms in here, onions. Get her spiced up nice. I absolutely love lasagna. So yeah, this is my uh, birthday dinner I didn't get to there on Friday. Too damn busy. All right, now we uh, got to layer some cheese on here. And we are going to layer it thick. This is one of the hardest things to do, <laughs> doing it this way. All right, in any case, I'm gonna pause it again. And I'm gonna try to Get some of the other fixings in here. We'll come back. All right, YouTube, back at it. I'm not sure if uh, you're at all familiar about what I'm doing here. I'm adding ricotta cheese. Uh, this ricotta is good. That's a nice tangy flavor to it. Smush it around. Some people use cottage cheese because it is a fair bit cheaper, which I can understand. My sister does that, anyways. I'm not a huge fan of it, but you, you run with what you brung. So, if all you bring is cottage cheese, go for it. But again, this is my birthday dinner, so I do it the way I, I like to. All right, so now oh yeah, we got lots of cheese here. I probably ground up more cheese than I need, but I like it cheesy. And cheesy she's going to be. Yeah, for those people uh, counting calories, doing it this way is not the best. You'd be lucky if you don't fucking shit for a week. But again, I'm doing it for myself. I'll maybe share some with my neighbors. We'll see. Yep, there was nearly three, four hundred gram bars of cheese there. A pizza mozzarella. There was a farmer's marble and a medium. So you get some nice layer of cheese on there. Make sure you don't miss too much. I think I might be able to get one more layer of noodles on there. Some more sauce and we'll go with the nacho cheese on top. All right, we'll be right back. All right, YouTube, back again. Got still a little bit more sauce. Added almost a whole bag of that, which is 300 grams to that layer. And now, we're just gonna do last layer of pasta. layer of pasta and then more sauce and then I'll show it to you just before I stick it in the oven all right hold on one more time and we'll get back to you okay down to the last part of the build I use up the last of that cheese we're gonna dust a little bit of the nacho cheese on top 
Oh yeah, if you uh, can't handle the uh, cheese, this is a very <laughs> not so friendly dinner. But I love my fucking cheese. And this thing's going to weigh about 10, 12 pounds. Alright, the secret to the way I do it, because I make the sauce so thick. And you'll find that a lot of times it won't cook properly around the edges. So what I do, Garden Cocktail, Clamato, any of those type of uh, juices, and you just take it and you pour it around the edges. And what this does, gets you enough uh, liquid so the edges will cook and then the pure purist resistance yeah, let's open up this side we just cover it and parmesan oh yeah this is a cheese lovers dish I'm definitely not afraid of the cheese. And this is not a very cheap dish to make. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, luckily the cheese was on sale. Uh, $3.79 a bar. So it was three of them. It was another three fifty dollars for the bag of cheese. So nearly four bars of cheese in it. The two pastas, they were reasonably cheap. Three packs of hamburger, two cans of uh, spaghetti sauce, and about two thirds of a jar of um, salsa. I wish I had a scale, I'd weigh this thing for you. <laughs> but then again, I probably wouldn't want to. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Just stop by and say hello. Dan out. And I'll uh, do another video. Show you how it comes out of the oven. Alright. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hey, I'm only 75 away from my goal of a thousand. Love to get a big push. Later.